Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys what happens when you have a DC voltage going to a speaker. This happens to be a tweeter, or horn, I guess you can call it. It's really just a tweeter. Out of a clip, what is this, RPF 8000, 800? Something like that, I don't remember the number. They don't make them anymore. But I've never seen that happen. Literally just melted the magnet. They sit like this, obviously. And yeah, that magnet just melted right off the back started to at least that's what it's supposed to look like and that's what that guy looks like Let's see if i can pop these screws off and see what it looks like on the other side all right moment of truth oh that does not really want to let go but it did yeah from the front don't really look that much different but yeah, you can see that got really, really hot. When we first got the cabinet in, this horn thing, you could see there was all ferro fluid leaking down there, which is what they put in some dome tweeters just to keep them running a little cooler. But yeah, that definitely, I've never seen that before <laughs> on one of these anyway. I've seen tweeters go and I've replaced them, but never seen that. So, yeah, basically, the replacement will go in, this will go back into the cabinet, and I'll have a happy customer. All right, guys, I'm continuing this at home last minute. I kind of forgot I actually have one of those Klipsch tweeters at my house, and I wanted to tear it down a little bit further because you can. Uh, this whole plastic piece and the dome lifts out the coil attached to it and all that, so you'll be able to see that. I think this one still has ferro fluid in it, too, so you'll also be able to see that. But, these, it's like I said in the previous clips, it's out of a RP, it's 800 or 8000 F, the reference premieres. They're a pretty nice clip speaker, I like how they sound. Um, but, they call it a horn, like, that plastic thing you saw in the last couple clips, is really, to me, it just looks like a fancy waveguide. I mean, clipsters are known for their horns, their vintage speakers have really good sounding horns on them. Some people like the sound, some people don't, but I don't know, I wouldn't call this a horn. This, to me, looks like I said, a tweeter with a really fancy waveguide. It's got like this, this iPhone will focus, there we go. It's got like this point on here, and there's like holes or slits around the base of it to allow the sound from the tweeter to go through, but like I said, it just seems like a really fancy waveguide. I don't know if I'd actually call it a true horn. But anyway, we'll lift this piece off. The screws are already loose because of the magnet that kind of stay in place. And there you go. That's, there they go. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's a metal dome. I forget what it is exactly, titanium or aluminum or something, but it is definitely metal. The voice coil is right there. And there's the channel there for it. Uh, this tweeter I don't think actually works because I hooked it up and tried to play some full range through it without a crossover, not thinking, and I'm pretty sure I damaged it. It looks like on the spider there, there might be some damage, but it's hard to say. They're not spider, the tinsel lead. Uh, but yeah, these are pretty easy to take apart all the way and see the actual inner workings, which are pretty cool. I don't see any. No, it's, I think it's in the channel, the ferro fluid, but yeah. I just thought that was interesting. Terminals are also connected to that piece there. And yeah, the whole the whole actual like dome and coil stays in place on that. And you're just left with the well or channel for it. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna try to be extra careful putting this back in. So you don't wanna screw up that voice coil. Yeah, I'll do it with two hands later. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this interesting. I do a lot of stuff with speakers, and I like to make more videos. I have some interesting ones at work I'm going to make some videos on soon. But anyway, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.